Please stand by. We'll be starting the meeting momentarily. On December, uh, correction, <laughs> Board of Adjustment, uh, meeting date is uh, December 14th, uh, 2020. Uh, any exhibits uh, shown tonight will become the property uh, of the town. Anyone wishing to address the board tonight will be required uh, to take an oath uh, issued by the uh, clerk, which has already been completed. Due to the COVID-19 state mandate, the public will only have access and input to this meeting using the Zoom's social media platform. The participation link has been posted on the town website. Planning Director Pam Davison uh, will give instructions on how the public can attend, participate, and view the board meeting. Pam? Thank you. All attendees that have joined the meeting tonight have joined muted. If you wish to speak during the meeting, you will need to notify staff you wish to speak. If you are joining the meeting online and wish to speak, please press the raise hand button. Um, no phone participation will be allowed tonight, being that this is a quasi-judicial proceeding and we need to have both audio and video capabilities. After you've raised your hand, staff will recognize you to speak by calling out your name. You will be unmuted and at this time you're allowed to speak. Once you've finished speaking, you will be muted for the remainder of the meeting. If you wish to speak again, you will need to raise your hand again. Okay, thank you. Um, at this time, we'll uh, uh, move into the approval of the minutes from the July 14th, 2020 Board of Adjustments meeting. Uh, has everyone had the opportunity to review the minutes? Yes. And is there any corrections or additions to those minutes? Correction. Yeah, go ahead, correction. Yeah, the first sentence, it's got Chair Mike Dorman calling the meeting to order, and it was Jeff Yeager that called it to order because Mike was absent. Yes. Are there any other corrections or additions to the minutes? If there are no other corrections or additions to the minutes, I'll take a motion to uh, approve the minutes as corrected. I so move. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I second. I have a second. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as amended for July 14th, 2020. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Uh, minutes are approved. Um, our first hearing tonight is... Uh, is a special use permit petition submitted by Victory uh, Temple Church. And the purpose of the agenda is uh, for a special use permit, uh, BOA SUP 2020 tax 04. 
At this time, the town will now present. Thank you. I'm submitting the agenda abstract and supporting documents into the official records of the town. The subject property is located at 1000 Wagstaff Road on 22.4 acre lot within the town's extraterritorial jurisdiction. The existing building on the subject property is currently used as a place of worship. The zoning of the subject property is residential agricultural. Surrounding properties to the north, south, east, and west are all single-family residential homes and agricultural uses and are located in the residential agricultural zoning district. The petitioner is requesting a special use permit for the continued use and expansion of a place of worship within the residential zoning district as required by section 9-1254T1A3 of the Land Development Ordinance. As shown in the submitted plan, the petitioner proposes to add a 2,000 square foot building addition that will be used for educational classrooms. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. well, the public hearing is now open. When addressing the board, please state your name, address, and your expertise as it applies to this hearing. For the representative from Victory Temple Church, please make your presentation. Can the board hear me? Yes, I can. My name is Ben A. Brewington III, 421 Fayetteville Street, Suite 1100, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27601. And I am the legal counsel for Petitioner Victory Ministry Temple. Thank you, sir. Would you go ahead and uh, uh, submit your, re your request? Do you have a copy of your the special uh, use permit uh, application with you? I do, Mr. Chair. I will proceed uh, if that pleases the chair. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to come before the board uh, this evening. Uh, petitioner in Victory Temple um, has been a thriving part of the Fuquay uh, community uh, since February of, of 2018. So in a very few short months, it will be three years and the membership absolutely loves their home. Uh, they are excited to come before you tonight uh, regarding the application for special use permit. Uh, we believe that and contend that upon evidence presented tonight, the board will be able to sufficiently find uh, that the four findings required for the special use permit uh, to be approved uh, by the board, uh, the evidence will be sufficient uh, to show. With that said, we'll move into a uh, presentation of our um, information. Uh, for the board's uh, information, we also have uh, the pastor of Victory Temple uh, on the line, uh, Pastor Rich, as well as Mr. Phil Grant, who is the uh, contractor um, uh, engaged to uh, erect the expansion um, as, as detailed. Um, finding one for this uh, special use permit for petitioner, uh, the proposed use uh, will not materially endanger the public health or safety if located where proposed according to the plan as submitted. Um, statement from petitioner, uh, we believe that we contend that uh, there is no additional parking requirements or ingress and egress, and as such, there will be uh, no material, no materially, uh, will not material endanger um, public health or safety. Uh, if located as proposed, the requirements for the use um, is already in, in existing use and all and uh, all that is needed. The church and the use of the additions to the church will not be used at the same time in the terms of hours uh, and operations. Therefore, uh, we would offer that there will not be a material or any material endangerment to the public health or safety if located where proposed and developed um, as the building will continue to be used for its original purpose. Uh, regarding finding two, 
um, the, the proposed use meets all required conditions and specifications. Uh, the proposed use uh, meets the requirements as defined uh, in the law development, excuse me, in the land development uh, variance ordinance, excuse, in the uh, land development ordinance, excuse me. Uh, how, however, with the new proposed parkway um, by the uh, town, a landscaping variance may be required. Uh, petitioner is uncertain at this time uh, because it has no way of knowing where the new highway, uh, where it is conceptually going to go. And there, there were no meets and bounds found when uh, Mr. Grant reviewed uh, the land to determine um, if, if they were there. Finding number three. Uh, the proposed proposed use will not substantially injure the value of adjoining property or the use uh, is a public necessity. Uh, the use is not a public necessity um, and it will not substantially injure the property uh, of the of any adjoining uh, uh, excuse me the value of any adjoining property because the requested use is an expansion on the existing use. Um, for what for which it has already been approved so the the use will be be used for the same purposes uh, the current building uh, is used for so we would attend that there will be no in, uh, injury to uh, the value of any adjoining property going forward um, finding number four the location and character of the proposed use is if developed according to the plan submitted uh, will be in harmony with the area in which it is to be located and in general conformity with the plan of the development of the town of Fuquay and this ordinance. Uh, the proposed use, in fact, is a continuation of the current existing use, as stated. Uh, the building is currently a church. The proposed use is a, is a 2,000 square foot addition for uh, fellowship of uh, uh, halls and or classrooms um, built use for that same purpose and that purpose is again as a church a place of learning for Christi Christian education. Uh, contributing factor descriptions, uh, circulation, As part of the required statement of justification, the petitioner shall demonstrate through factual evidence and uh, that the uh, contributing factors listed below have been adequately addressed as applicable. Uh, the first one of those uh, items is circulation, the access points to the property and the proposed structures, uh, safety and convenience for automotive, uh, bicycle and pedestrian movement and public safety. Uh, the use is the same as it was uh, when it was originally approved um, for use as a church. Uh, there is no uh, other site work to be done on the site to this building. Um, pursuant to the plan outlined as attached. My apologies, couldn't, couldn't read the writing there. Uh, parking lot in uh, parking and loading uh, location areas. Uh, the parking and location lo loading location areas remain the same. They will not change if this special use is approved. Service entrance and areas, they will remain the same if this use special use is approved. Um, lighting, lo locations of exterior lighting uh, with reference to direction, coverage, glare and tra traffic safety. Uh, none of that changes. They will remain the same if this special use is approved. Um, the utilities, location, size, capacity, and available, availability of utilities will remain the same as well if this use is approved. Um, open space and landscaping, um, location of open spaces, landscape areas, and preservation of existing trees and other natural features. Um, they remain the same um, as the existing use with the possible exception, as we mentioned before, uh, with the road uh, proposed by the town, um, that construction happens, there may need to be uh, some, some changes made uh, according to the town's road uh, coming through. But as it relates to this uh, special use application, there is no change on the open, open space and landscaping. Uh, 
environmental protection. There are no, uh, no concerns there. Effect on adjacent property, again, no concerns there. The, uh, the use remains the same. Uh, compatibility, the use, again, remains the same. Uh, there's no changes from a ca compatibility standpoint. Um, uh, listing of any other proposed conditions. There are no other proposed conditions that we're aware of at this time. Um, so we will contend that there are none to be stated. Okay. Does any of the members of the board have any questions? And this that is uh, the conclusion of our presentation of the evidence for our special use application. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to clarify the lighting. Um, did you indicate that it would remain the same um, or will it be relocated in some facet? I indicated that it will remain the same. Um, we will, that is my understanding, Mr. Uh, Grant, if you would chime in if I'm stating that incorrectly, but my understanding is that the light, the exterior lighting will remain the same. Okay, we'll get uh, Mr. Grant, and he'll, we'll have him speak next. Um, can we hold that question until Mr. Grant gets here? Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any questions for this one? Sorry. Could you hear me, sir? I, I I can hear you now. Thank you. Okay. Yes. I'm. Uh, we're going to hold that question until Mr. Graham, uh, Grant Grant. Uh, we'll give him the opportunity, and then he'll be able to answer that when he talks about the construction of the project. All right, so uh, do you have any Very other witness? Thank you. Do you have any other witnesses that would like to speak in favor of this project? And that would be Mr. Grant, I think. Yes. Okay. Mr. Grant, are you available? Yes, sir. All right. Could you go ahead? And Thanks, Phil. Go ahead. I live at two forty three Willis Lane in Lagrange, North Carolina. Uh, <clears throat> 28551 is the zip code. The only clarification I would make to what Mr. Boynton said was uh, when the addition is added uh, on the right hand side of the building, if you're facing the building, there's some uh, two lights that's uh, currently on the front and the rear of the building, and they'll put, be put on the new addition, which will be approximately 20 feet from where they are located now. Does that answer your question? It then? does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Grant, do you have anything else you'd like to add about the construction of the project? Uh, just one comment. The, the building at present is made with stucco. The exterior is made with stucco and metal panels. And after the completion is, uh, uh, after the addition is completed, absent the rear of the building, the entire building will be stucco and brick and there'll be no further panels that'll be visible from the current highway system that's there sir all right thank you does any member of the board have any questions for mr grant all right thank you very much does anybody have any questions for any of the uh, witnesses that have uh, spoken so far today presented i do have a question for the town mm -hmm. um pam there I keep hearing uh, uh, about the buffer, maybe about the road. Right. Um, is there going to be an issue with the that buffer? Is there going to have to be no. any additional landscaping done or anything? Scott, can you go back to the layout slide? Yes. So what is being done, they have care carefully calculated. The CTP shows the Fuquay Verena Parkway cutting through this property. Um, a site plan would trigger compliance, construction of both right, um, roadway improvements along Wagstaff as well as pedestrian accommodations and the construction of the Fuquay Verena Parkway. Um, by building an addition that is only 25% of the existing building, that does not trigger a site plan and only requires dedication of the right of way. So currently they will be dedicating the Fuquay Verena Parkway a connection to the existing um, roadway stub there and a small amount of frontage along Wagstaff, they will not be required to construct any of that roadway. Um, so they will also not be required to do any landscape buffer installation 
um, or perimeter buffer installation. The only landscaping that will be required here will be foundation planting around the new part of the building. Okay, second follow-up question on that is, I noticed the existing uh, septic fill is going to be in the right-of-way of the road. Is that going to create an issue in the future? So I do not believe, I think it, um, it extends outside, in this picture it extends outside the building envelope is what that dash line is. Mm -hmm. But the solid line to the north of that is the right-of-way line. So that 50 foot, they, churches, places of worship are required to have a 50 foot building setback. So that is showing that they're compliant with the building setback, but the um, septic field is still physically out of the right-of-way. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have any questions for anyone who has presented evidence so far? All right, does anyone, uh, does anyone wish to speak in opposition of this uh, permit? Does anyone wish to, to speak in favor of or in opposition of this permit? If not, at this time, we will close the public hearing and the Board of Adjustments will go into discussion. All right, so we have four findings of facts that we need to review. Uh, the first one, um, as I discussed, the proposed uh, use of development, they have stated will not materially endanger the public health, safety if located where proposed and developed according to the plans as submitted because it's already a church and all they're doing is adding a, uh, an addition to it. Um, and so uh, if, uh, if we're all in agreement with that, if I could have someone make a motion to that. Uh, I'll make a motion. I make motion that we approve findings of fact number one, the proposed, the proposed use will not materially endanger the public health or safety if located where proposed and developed according to the plan as submitted because uh, the use of the property is not changing. There's no changing to parking, ingress, egress, traffic. Uh, the building is maintaining its current use and there are no environmental issues. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I second. We have a motion and a second on finding it fact, fact, Finding of the fact number one, all in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign, motion carries. Finding of the fact two is the proposed use uh, does m meet all required conditions and specifications because uh, if there again, it's already being utilized for the same purpose. Um, is there any discussion on this motion or on this finding. Anyone have anything to say about that one? All right, if not, can I get a motion? I'll motion that um, the proposed use does meet all the required conditions and specifications because it is uh, currently being used. It is used. currently used as a church. All right. So we have a motion. Uh, Teresa, did you get that? I did. Okay, thank you. So we have a motion uh, on the floor. Can we get a second? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Um, all in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign, motion carries. All right, finding of the fact two was approved. Moving on to finding of the fact three. The proposed, um, the proposed use will not substantially injure the value of the adjoining property um, or the use of public necessity. Uh, the petitioner says because uh, there again, it's the same as it has, and it should not have any um, effect on the ad adjoining property since it's expanding the existing use. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, is there any discussion by the board? All right, if we have no discussion, can I get a motion? Yep, the proposed use will not substantially injure the value of adjoining property because it's currently being used as a church and this is merely an expansion 
uh, of its use and uh, will not uh, impact any of the surrounding uh, properties. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like <laughs> sign. Motion, uh, finding and the fact three passes. Finding and the fact number four. The location and the character of the proposed use, if developed and according to the plan submitted, will be in harmony of the area in which it is located in the general conformity with the plan of development of the town of Fuqua Varina and its ordinance. Uh, and then the petitioner states it is going to continue to be uh, the use is the same as exist purpose um, for Christian education. So uh, is there any discussion about that? All right, if we have no discussion, can I get a motion? I'll motion that the location and character of the proposed use, if developed according to the plan submitted, will be in harmony with the area in which it is to be located and in general conformity with the plan of development of the town of Fuqua Varina and its ordinances because the planned use is an extension of the existing use and it's, uh, it's just an expansion of uh, some of the facilities. All right, so we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Um, all in favor? Raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Motion, uh, finding of the fact, four passes. And we have a motion um, to approve the BOA SUP 2020-04 as presented under the terms and conditions identified the, uh, in the applic applicant's application, testimony, and site layout exhibit and all pres preserving all conditions of the special use permit BOA SUP 2020-04. I'll make a motion that the board approve BOA-SUP-2020-04 as the petition has met all four findings of fact. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second to approve um, BOA SUP 0 uh, correction 2020 TAC 04 uh, all in favor raise your right hand all opposed like sign uh, the approval uh, BOA SUP 2020 TAC 04 is hereby approved thank you board thank you all Now we'll move on to our second request for special use permit submitted by St. Bernadette's Catholic Church, BOA, SUP, 2020-TAC-05. Um, at this time, will the town please pre present? Thank you. I am submitting the agenda abstract and supporting documents into the official records of the town. The property is located at 1005 and 0 Wilbon Road on two lots totaling 11.94 acres within the town of Fuquay Varina. The existing buildings on the subject property are currently used as a place of worship. The zoning of the subject property is residential agricultural. Surrounding properties to the north, south, east, and west are all used for single family residential homes and agricultural purposes and are located in the residential agricultural zoning district. The petitioner is requesting a special use permit for the continued use and expansion of a place of worship within a residential zoning district as required by section 9-1254T1A3 of the Land Development Ordinance as shown on the submitted plan. The petitioner is proposing a phased expansion of the church campus to include a connection to public sanitary sewer, a 24,000 square foot parish center, an additional 480 parking spaces, renovations to the existing buildings, and installation of stormwater facilities. Associated offsite improvements will include right of way dedication and roadway improvements along the future Fuqua Verena Parkway and Old Powell Road, as well as a fee and loo for required improvements along Wilbon Road. Cross access requirements will be met with a stub street provided at the northern property boundary. 
The property has been the subject of six previous cases seen by the Board of Adjustment. In May 2000, the church submitted a variance to allow a structure higher than the height limit required by town code. In September 2002, the church submitted a special exception to expand the parking area. In 2006, a special exception to permit a columbarium in a residential district. 2014, a special exception to construct a temporary trailer for a classroom. And in 2008, a special exception to construct a new building to be used for educational classrooms on the grounds of an existing church. 2009, a special exception to expand the sanctuary and build a covered porch onto the existing church. All previous requests have been approved by the Board of Adjustment. Thank you. Will the representative from St. Bernadette's Catholic Church please make their presentation at this time? Uh, good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the Board of Adjustment. Uh, my name is Chad Essick. I'm a land use and zoning attorney with the law firm of Pointer Sproul, 301 Fayetteville Street, Suite 1900, Raleigh 27601. Uh, I'm here this evening on behalf of the applicant for this special use permit, St. Bernadette Catholic Church, as well as the property owner of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Raleigh. Uh, joining me here tonight in uh, virtual land are the representatives of the church, as well as the consultants on the development team. Um, not everyone will testify, but I will uh, introduce them, um, those that are on. Uh, Charles Bernard, who serves on the facility committee for St. Bernadette. Roger Cannon, the architect with Cannon Architects. Uh, John Kaczynski, civil engineer with Kimley Horn. Matt Gross, landscape architect with Kimley Horn. Travis Fluitt, uh, transportation engineer with Kimley Horn. Uh, and Michael uh, Wingenroth with uh, the, the Diocese of Raleigh, the Director of Property and Construction. Um, uh, staff has done a good job uh, summarizing the request um, and the nature of the request for this phased expansion um, for the existing church campus on Wilbon Road. We we'll try not to be redundant in our presentation, but we do want to touch on a few aspects of the proposed expansion uh, that are relevant to the four uh, special use permit standards that the board is charged with evaluating tonight in connection with this uh, special use permit request. Uh, similar to the case that you just heard, uh, this is not a, a, a special use permit for to establish a new use. This is a use that's been in place for some 30 years. Uh, it's my understanding the church first started operating in the early 1990s and has been operating uh, in harmony with this area for, for many years. Um, so we'll focus our testimony and presentation on the expansion pieces uh, and how it meets each of those findings uh, of fact. Um, I'd like to have the applicants, consultants testify on a few of these points, and then we can address any specific follow-up questions the board members may have. Uh, as it relates to the first finding uh, this board is required to make, um, the use will not materially endanger the public health or safety if located where proposed and developed according to the plan as submitted. At this point, uh, it might be easier if I just turn it over to Matt Gross and John Kaczynski to provide the board with a a broad overview and testimony concerning the public health and safety aspects of the proposal. And then I can take it back over uh, as we go through each of these standards. So with that, uh, I don't know, Matt or John, which one of you guys are going first, but um, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Chad. Uh, good evening, y'all. My name is Matt Gross. I'm a landscape architect with Kimberly Horn, located at 421 Fayetteville Street, uh, Suite 600, zip code, that's Raleigh, North Carolina, zip code 27601. Um, I would like to request screen share if that's okay. You can go ahead and do it. All right, thank you. All right, can everybody see my screen okay? Yes, we can. All righty. So just starting off here, um, as Chad said, not to be redundant, but just to give everybody a little bit more history here. Looking at the existing conditions of the site as it is today, we've got two existing access roads into the parking lot from Old Powell Road and Wilbon Road. Um, those two accesses open into existing parking areas. Um, those parking areas serve what is today the main sanctuary, social hall, parish learning center, uh, parish office and a learning center, um, as well as some accessory uses. Some other items of note uh, that exist out on site today. There is an existing septic field uh, located here on the northern part of the site. 
that is adjoined by an existing stormwater pond, um, which is a pretty uh, boilerplate farm pond, which treats the stormwater of the, of the project area. Any stormwater that is not treated by this pond is then uh, outfalled offsite um, to the northwest. Um, and then some other items of note is uh, there is 214 parking spaces currently on site today. And as you can see from this aerial, it looks as if some at some point uh, that parking does not fully serve the church in its current state. Um, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to John Kaczynski, who will talk a little bit more about the infrastructure and traffic. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is John Kaczynski. I'm a civil engineer with Kimley Horn, um, located at 421 Fayetteville Street, Suite 600, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27601. As Matt mentioned, the, the existing uh, facility is currently on septic, so we thought we would provide a high-level summary of the utility work proposed. The existing facility is on septic, so the proposed church expansion cannot occur without upgrading to public sewer. Phase one of the project proposes an off-site eight-inch gravity sewer extension along Colley Farm Road and will connect to the town's public gravity sewer system at the Grays Creek subdivision. An on-site lift station is proposed at the church property and will connect to the gravity sewer system at the right of way at Wilbon Road. The church is already connected to the town public water system. The existing septic system and drain field will be removed in accordance with county and state requirements once this church has connected to public sewer. It's important to note that the approval of the sewer upgrade is not tied to this SUP and the sewer extension is currently under review by town staff. We just thought it was important to mention this since it is part of the phasing. And as we continue to uh, our proposed plan, we'd like to just provide a high level summary of the uh, transportation improvements and uh, uh, on site circulation. Per coordination with the town staff, we understand that several roadway improvements will be required as part of this project for the town community transportation plan. The town of Fuquay Verena Parkway to the east will be proposed as a four lane divided highway with side paths and 120 foot right of way as part of the community transportation plan. The applicant proposes a up to 60 foot right of way dedication and construction of two lanes on the east frontage of the property with a 10 foot side path and fee and lieu for the median and will meet town cross access requirements via a future sub stub at the northern property boundary. Wilbon Road, which runs east west, uh, is a 110 foot right of way uh, section per the town community transportation plan. We propose a dedication for half of that on the subject site and a fee and lieu for required improvements since a fee and lieu is already in process for that roadway. On Old Powell Road uh, to the to the west. Uh, there are no plan improvements from the town. However, there, um, the applicant will offer curb and sidewalk improvements based on discussions with the town. Uh, we are proposing driveway relocations as part of this uh, project in, in an effort to better align with opposing existing driveways along Old Powell Road and to center the driveway along Wilbon for more of a centralized intersection between the adjacent streets. The construction of the town of Fuquay Verena Parkway will improve circulation to the site by adding a third driver connection to the site for drop off at the proposed parish center in addition to the public improvement. Internal circulation and navigation through the property has been improved while providing ADA accessibility, handicapped parking and adequate fire and emergency access to the site. It's important to note that additional trip generation uh, for the build out of the full build out as shown on the plan was so low that it did not require a TIA. We would like to also testify that there are no significant environmental features presence on the site and the applicant proposes to remove the existing farm pond on the northeast corner of the project and will construct a proposed stormwater control measure in the northwest corner of the site that will meet town and state stormwater quality and quantity requirements. And I would like to turn it back over to Matt to just run through the internal 
uh, proposed site plan. Thank you, John. Um, so as John alluded to, I'm going to start from the outside and work our way in. Um, as John mentioned, we are realigning these driveway accesses and providing a driveway along the future Fuquay Verena Parkway. Um, with those access realignments, we have also proposed to reorganize the parking lots on the site. Um, this is not only to provide more parking for the church, uh, but also to improve pedestrian safety. Uh, that is done by mitigating the amount of pedestrian crosswalks um, so that there are fewer crosswalks throughout the site, um, which really starts to organize people into one specific area, therefore slowing traffic down to provide safe, safe crossings. Uh, also wanted to make sure that it, everyone is aware that we are only proposing one new building on the site as a part of this master plan. Uh, this one new building is this darker shaded building here on the eastern side of the site. All other buildings which are currently exist on the site will be renovated um, during their appropriate phase. Uh, speaking of phases, uh, I want to step through some of the phasing plan that we've proposed um, that this plan take. So John has already spoken of phase one, which would be the sewer construction. Um, as well as drainage of the pond, at least partially, um, to then be drained fully in the future. Uh, phase two would be an expansion of parking. So the existing parking count is 214 spaces. Phase one or phase two, and the first phase of the parking expansion would expand the parking to 360 spaces. Uh, the town requires for place of worship uh, about 100 parking spaces, so we're well and above the code requirements. Um, so that parking that would be built as a part of phase two would start from this line here, work its way west along the western side of the site, and would consist of this existing parking lot here at the southern end, at which point it would terminate. Uh, phase three would be this new prayer center here, which as Pam alluded to in the previous case, um, this will then, because we'll be requesting a site plan, it will then require us to um, build any off-site road improvements. So if that, at that point, future, future Fuquay Verena Parkway would be built along the uh, entire property frontage, as well as the Wilbon Fee and Lou improvements and the Old Powell improvements. Phase four would be renovation of the existing structures on site. Uh, and then phase five would be the proposed parking here, which you see in this block up in the northern portion of the site, which would then up our parking to 480 spaces, which is the required um, dias is required per dias the Catholic diocese. So with that being said, I'm gonna turn it back over to Chad. Um, and I will stop sharing my screen at this time. Great, thank you, uh, Matt and John. Uh, I'll move on to the second finding and I may just ask uh, Matt and John, or Matt, just a couple of questions. Uh, as the board knows, the second finding is the proposed use meets or exceeds uh, or, uh, all required conditions and specifications. Um, Matt, have you reviewed the town of Fuquay Verena uh, land development ordinance? Yes, I have. And and does the proposal meter exceed those required conditions and specifications? Yes, it does. Okay. And in looking at the, and I'm jumping ahead a little bit to the second part of finding number four, uh, does the proposed plan, in your opinion, uh, meet the general conformity of plan and development for the town of Fuquay Verena and its ordinances? Yes, it does. Okay. And Matt, did your firm, Kimley Horn, prepare the detailed written responses in the special use permit application under contributing factor descriptions that deal with circulation, parking and loading, service interest in areas, lighting, utilities, open space, environmental protection, and effect on adjacent property and yes. compatibility? Yes, you are correct. And are those uh, responses true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Okay, thank you, Matt. Um, moving on to the third finding. Um, as to the third finding, the expansion of the existing use will not substantially injure the value of adjoining properties. Uh, as noted, uh, this property is, is, has been used as a church for almost uh, 30 years. 
the property adjoins uh, the property adjoining the church site is primarily residential with agricultural property to the north and the east. Uh, our research reveals that all of the residential properties directly adjoining the church were constructed after the church began operating in the early 1990s, uh, with most of it being done after 2000 when the church had been operating um, for approximately 10 years. Uh, our research also indicates that the value of these adjoining properties and properties in the immediate area have seen tax value appreciate significantly since the time of their first sale. Um, the, you, our research also shows that development in the immediate area continues to bring new investment in residential property and rising tax values of homes within the Grays Creek subdivision to the south and the east, and the development of Briargate to the east and Broadwell Trace to the south uh, demonstrate that demand and real estate values have not been impacted by the church and its ongoing operations. Um, additionally, uh, as, to, as Matt uh, and John testified to, a number of proposed improvements would make the development even more compatible with the surrounding single family, the alignment of driveways, uh, and the investment in public infrastructure, including roadway improvements, sidewalks, and public sewer extension that will add value uh, not just to this property, but to the properties that uh, uh, join or in the immediate vicinity. Um, finally, as to the fourth finding, um, the location and character of the proposed use, if developed according to the plan submitted, will be in harmony with the area in which it is to be located. And as testified to Matt a few seconds ago, is in general conformity with the plan of development of the town of Fuquay Varina and its ordinances. Uh, just to note, under North Carolina case law, if a particular use is included as a special use in a zoning district, it's presumed to be in harmony with the area. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, in addition to that rebuttable uh, presumption, uh, the church has been operating here for many years in harmony with the surrounding area, and the proposed improvements and expansion would only create greater uh, compatibility and harmony with the area. So uh, with that, Mr. Chair, uh, we, that's our presentation. Uh, I respectfully uh, ask that um, our special use permit application and the documents that were presented tonight, the maps that were presented be made part of the record. Uh, of course, we are happy to answer any questions the board may have and we respectfully ask that the board uh, vote to approve uh, the special use permit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Does any members of the board have any question for any of these witnesses? <clears throat> I have uh, one question for Mr. Gross. What is the timeline for these phases? Yes, that's a great question. Um, we do not have a specific timeline um, at this point. Um, as John mentioned, we are moving forward currently um, throughout all of the town's uh, approval processes for the stor uh, storm and utility relocation. Um, but we are also aware that this SUP approval, assuming we receive approval tonight, um, would have an expiration date and work would need to commence prior to that expiration date. So this is not something that's going to happen overnight. We foresee these phases happening um, in the future, we, we're, we don't have dates associated with all of them, but we have begun um, phase one of this project. Okay, and as a follow-up to that, well, not for the petitioner, I don't. Are any other questions for any of these witnesses? <clears throat> yes, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your stormwater treatment uh, requirements relative to the increased impervious. Uh, it appears that um, the uh, stormwater control measures are uh, signif significantly smaller in size and located to the opposite side of the site. So I'm just kind of curious what the treatment thresholds are for, th for the site. Uh, yes, uh, John Kaczynski, a civil engineer, happy to answer that. Uh, the existing uh, stormwater pond uh, that you'll see, you know, on the existing conditions plan or aerial um, is, um, as we had mentioned, more or less a, a farm pond. Um, it is not at the low point of the site. Um, it uh, has ma maintenance issues and it needs to be pumped out in order to uh, drain. So we, we propose to remove the existing farm pond and propose a uh, stormwater control measure, you know, per uh, 
town and state requirements in the northwest corner, which will be, which is the uh, geometric low point of the site. And per the town of Fuquay requirements, we're going to treat the net new impervious or the you know increase in impervious from what's there today for uh, both water quality and water quantity. So we feel that the uh, outline shown on the northwest corner, while it is uh, smaller in footprint, will be deeper and you know is sized to meet stormwater requirements. Okay, thank you. Another question I have is, um, you mentioned the parking requirements for the town of Fuqua Verena specify for a, uh, a place of worship of, um, um, I think one per hundred, um, or 100 parking spaces required based off the square footage proposed for the site. And um, you, you also mentioned that the uh, Raleigh Diocese has requirements for parking as well. Is there a maximum parking count in the town of Fuqua Verena? And is there, um, um, you know, because a lot of times those parking spaces are um, quantified to try to limit the runoff of the site, as you know. So just wondering uh, the need for uh, almost five times the parking. If you could speak to that, please. Yes, um, we're not aware of any maximum parking requirement for the town of Fuqua. We have uh, worked with town staff and asked that specific question, so we're not aware of uh, any max uh, requirement. The 480 spaces is uh, you know, planned out uh, to ultimately meet the Catholic Diocese parking requirement. However, these will be phased and there will be consideration, especially to the uh, parking area to the north of the parish center as uh, provided as a if needed basis, you know, as the uh, you know, church expands their uh, their parish and, and uh, uh, population. So we will plan on phasing the parking improvements based on the demand of the use and not, you know, building it all all at once. Yeah, I have a follow-up on that also. The plan. On the uh, impervious surface, what percentage of the lot will be impervious surfaces? Uh, and will that one pond uh, on the left side, will that be enough? I know you said it was at the low point. Is that going to be able to accommodate all the water that's running off from that entire 11-acre lot? Um, yes, we believe that uh, the site can be graded in kind of a, uh, a sawtooth or up-down, up-down kind of method to have storm drains uh, throughout the site to pick them up and put them into the stormwater facility. Um, in addition, um, happy to share the screen the plan if that's helpful. Um, we do have an auxiliary uh, feature planned if needed to uh, uh, treat stormwater from this uh, south uh, west parking expansion as as uh, just um, you know contingency if if we need a little bit more stormwater treatment. However, we feel confident that the uh, stormwater outline shown in the northwest corner is accurate. We do have a, a contingency to have that area for the southwest parking if needed and we'll also implement uh, some low impact development measures if, if needed as far as uh, grass swales and and uh, other uh, methods such as not proposing curb and having sheet flow to have uh, swales to add additional water quality treatment for the site and in uh, the first part of that question you know what percentage is going to be hard surfaces mm -hmm. Uh, yes, we believe it is approximately 70% impervious proposed full build out. Okay, and one last question about the drainage there. What impact on the adjacent property is if, if that storm pond fails, is there going to be? Mm -hmm. um, certainly, yeah, along Old Pal Road, uh, there's an existing roadway ditch so that uh, we will size the uh, pond to you know, fully detain uh, per town requirements 
and have adequate freeboard in the dam so that any emergency storm would uh, flow over the uh, principal spillway out the outlet pipe and into the uh, existing roadway ditch along Old Powell Road for, for an adequate outfall. And would that have any effect on the adjacent property? Uh, no, sir. It would, it would just uh, drain into the uh, roadway ditch within the right-of-way of Old Powell Road. Okay, so it would not overflow that ditch? No, sir. Yeah, well, there's, there is a capacity within the ditch, and um, we'll design the pond dam to uh, you know, have adequate freeboard for, you know, to safely pass the 100-year storm to, uh, into the ditch with uh, you know, capacity in the existing roadway ditch section. Okay, thank you. Does anyone else have any questions for any of these three witnesses? Um, I have a clarification as far as the parking. Uh, I think you said, well, with uh, phase four, that would give you 480 parking spaces, but it sounds like it's not really based on the phase, it's based on how the congregation grows as to whether you actually uh, have- Yes. Okay. That is correct. Uh, the last, um, uh, phase of parking there would be, you know, based on the, the population of the church and, and growth and uh, will be used as uh, courtyard and amenity areas in the initial phases. And then we're just wanting to demonstrate that the full uh, diocesan parking requirement can be met, but it will be added only needed based on demand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have one more. Go ahead. Uh, just one more comment, uh, kind of in general, the access point to the Fuquay, uh, proposed Fuquay Parkway, just looks like it could be a little hazardous during um, service times. Um, that's just a, that's just a unsolicited comment, but it looks like it's a dangerous intersection there. That's it. Thank you. Are we going to have a traffic flow problem coming out onto the new Fuquay? Uh, bypass as it is proposed and dri uh, drawn here? Yeah, I'll pose um, that to the applicant. I, I would just say the stem links are a little short um, for, uh, for four-way traffic there, I think. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions for any of these three witnesses? Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of this uh, petition? Is there anyone that would like to speak in opposition of this petition? Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor or in, of or in opposition of this petition? Do any of our board members have any questions for the town before we close to meet the public hearing? Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, uh, Ms. Davison, mm -hmm. long-term phases like what's being proposed here, uh, if this special use permit was approved, what what is the long-term impact of that? Right. So we did um, meet with the, the town lawyer specifically on this topic. Um, the way the Board of Adjustment Special Use Permit is written is they have one year to get a building permit. Um, generally speaking, any type of commercial or residential phase development, once it's started, that really triggers compliance with that requirement. Um, and we felt it was more advantageous for us to see the entire build out than them come back in piecemeal and show us a piece at a time. So we felt that, um, so if, as long as they start the preliminary phase on this, that would trigger compliance with the special use permit being started within one year and then we can just ride it out as they go through. If there are any other changes to what they're showing us here, they would need to come back to amend the special use permit. But at this point in time, um, we could just go through the four phases as proposed. Okay, so if I understand it correctly, all the phases would be umbrellaed under the approval if they started construction on phase one. Right. Within one year of today. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for the town? Uh, so just for my understanding, so, does, so that, does that mean that the approval is sort of perpetual, that it does, do they have to come back? So they would not have to come back as long as they stuck to this plan. 
I see. And they okay. basically incrementally could build this, this plan that they're proposing today. Um, and they will have to go through site plan approval and things like that okay. pertaining to this. Any modifications or changes to this plan, um, they would need to come back and amend the special use permit. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions for the town or any of the witnesses that we've heard tonight? If not, at this time, we're going to close the public hearing and the Board of Adjustments will go into discussion. Okay, we've got uh, four findings of the facts that we need to review and discuss. Um, finding of the fact one, the proposed use, um, they have uh, suggested it will not materially endanger the public health or safety if located where proposed and developed according to the plan. Um, uh, the petitioner's statement is the proposed use will not materially endanger the public health or safety uh, if located where proposed developments according to the plan as submitted. The purpose of the plan is to an associated uh, special use permit is to expand the existing St. Bernadette Catholic Church campus while meeting and exceeding where possible the requirements of the town LDO. Uh, anybody have any discussion about that? Comments? If everybody's in agreement with that, can I get a, a motion, please, for finding of the fact one? I, um, I will motion that the proposed use will not materially endanger the public health or safety if located where proposed and developed according to the plan as submitted. Um, due to the fact that the proposed use will not materially endanger the public health or safety if located where proposed and developed according to the plan as submitted. Um, the purpose of the plan is associated with the SUP is to expand the existing St. Bernadette Catholic Church campus while meeting and exceeding where possible the requirements of the town's LDO. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Finding it a fact one passes. All right, finding it a fact two, the proposal use uh, does or does not meet all requirements of the specification. The petitioner stated the proposed use meets or exceeds all requirements and specifications identified in the latest town of Ukawade Farina LDO. All right, do we have any concerns or uh, discussion about those? All right, if we have uh, a no discussion, could I get a motion on finding into fact number two? Yeah. Okay. The proposed use meets all required conditions and specifications required by the town of Fuquay Verena and its land development ordinance, uh, period. Okay, I have a motion, do I have a second? A second. I have a motion and a second. Discussion? Can I ask a, uh, can I ask a technical question? To? To you, do we need a unanimous vote to carry the finding with our attendance tonight? I think, yeah. Yes, because we don't have but uh, five members here tonight. Um, okay. I'll speak to that. With being this is a special use permit, it requires a simple majority of the overall board. So as long as we've got four votes, oh. that's all we've got to have to pass. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's not a variance. A variance is a four-fifth. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, James. All right. So we have a motion and a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, uh, finding of the fact number two passes. Finding of the fact number three, the proposed use will or will not substantially injure the value of the adjoining property or the use is public necessity. Uh, the petitioner states the proposed use will not substantially injure the value of the adjoining properties. The church will continue to function as is while improvements and members of visitation access, egress, 
um, ingress locations, therefore uh, lessening by any existing or perceived negative impact on adjacent properties. Do we have some discussion on that? You know, one of my biggest concerns was the amount of impervious um, surface and to make sure that the, the rain, that the rainfall is gonna be able to be captured and we're not flooding out a neighbor's property when you have 70, I think he said, well, the 70 is down the road. 75 percent when we're all said and done. Um, That's down the road when they finish uh, phase five. Phase five, yes. Gets it up to that, which mm -hmm. may be a couple of years. But they also have the proposal for the additional location, if necessary. That is true. And I know you had some concern about the uh, access to and from the roadway safely. Um, Yeah, I think I'm a little bit more comfortable with the stormwater. 70% um, impervious is not, you know, high for a development like this. Okay. Really. And um, I'd like to make a motion. Okay. Go ahead. The proposed use uh, will not substantially injure the value of adjoining property, or and the use is not a public necessity. Uh, let me rephrase that, please. The, the proposed use will not substantially injure the value of adjoining property because it is it when completed it will be a betterment for the community um, and is, it is also not a public necessity okay I have a motion do we have a second second we have a motion and a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Mo uh, finding and fact number three is passed. Finding and fact number four. The location and character of the proposed use, if developed in accordance with the plan, uh, will or will not be in harmony with the area in which it is located and in general conformity with the plan to develop the development of the town of Fuquay Varina and its ordinance. Statement by the petitioners as the location and character of the proposed use, if developed in accordance to the plan submitted, will remain in harmony with the area in which it is located and is in general conformity with the plan of development of the town of Fuquay Varina and its ordinances. According to the 2035 Fuquay Varina land use plan, this is currently identified as a civil and institutional and the proposal uh, a special use permit will not alter this condition. Is there any discussion on finding of the fact number four? If we have no discussion, can we have a motion? I'll make a motion that the location and character of the proposed use, if developed according to the plan submitted, will be in harmony with the area in which it is to be located and in general conformity with the plan of development of the town of Fuquay Varina and its ordinances because it will uh, remove septic field and retention pond, uh, add sidewalk footprint to the area um and uh provide for uh the stormwater runoff okay we have a motion do we have a second a second we have a motion and a second all in favor raise your right hand all opposed like sign uh, finding of the fact number four passes all right do we have a motion to approve Okay, I'll move to approve the uh, Board of Adjustment Special Use Permit-2020-05 as uh, proposed by the St. Bernadette Catholic Church uh, and referencing all four of the uh, um, uh, Special Use Permit findings that we've approved. Right, we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? A second. All right. 
We have a motion in a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Uh, finding, I mean, permit for uh, the Board of Adjustment uh, Special Use Permit 2020 TAC 05 has passed. All right, so the next thing we need to look at is uh, do we have any items that are tabled that we need to address at this meeting? If we have none, our next item of a business is meeting uh, schedule. We have anything tabled? Meeting schedule. Yes, the meet meeting scheduled is our next item that we need to discuss. Um, uh, we need to approve our 2021 Board of Adjustments meeting schedule. I do have a question for Pam on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's July that we have to meet at, a, at an off night. Has that been indicated in the schedule? It is not. Right, can we go ahead and make that adjustment now so we don't have to re yep. uh, yeah. vote on it? We'll do it now. In the future? Well, just for clarification also, that July, um, now the town commissioners or the planning board meet the third. We'd have to meet on a Tuesday. Is that right? I think that's what we've done in the past. Yeah. So next July, the town board is going to meet on the 12th. I see the first Monday is the 5th. Yeah, but the, because the 4th is on a Sunday, they'll probably be closed on the 5th. They are, yeah. Yeah. And usually we get, I thought we usually get bumped a week then. Right, because I think that um, town board takes the 12th, so then we switch to the 13th. Okay. Yeah, we could, I suppose we could bump a night rather than a week. Yes, so we would go from the 12th to the 13th, and we go ahead and make that adjustment to the <coughs> schedule now. Yeah, that's fine. Does anyone see any other adjustments that we need to make to the schedule? Remember... October 11th. I don't think that's anything. Is that uh, Columbus Day? Yeah, the but 11th? I think we're open, aren't we? Yes, I think so. Columbus Day, is the uh, town open on Columbus Day? I believe so. Okay. I don't see it on the list here. All right. Anybody have any questions about the schedule? All right, if I can get a motion to approve the schedule with the uh, changes submitted. I move that we uh, accept the 2021 schedule with the changes submitted. I have a second. A second. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Uh, the schedule has been approved. Is there any uh, old business that we need to discuss? If there is no other new business or old business, I would accept a motion to adjourn. Are there any administrative reports? Any administrative reports need to be addressed? No. Okay, with uh, that said, is, uh, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. Yep. I so move. Second. Second. All in Second. favor, raise your right hand. Uh, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>